Hi, this is Jim's Little Boat. I'm Jim, and this is just a short little follow-up video to the centering board video we made on the trailer. Remember the centering boards? We're going to guide the keel so it sits in the V-block. I was concerned at the time that maybe those 2x4s were just a little too narrow and maybe they needed to be taller to guide the boat in more. Well, that turned out to be correct. It worked a little bit, but it could probably work better if we used 2x6s. So let's kind of take a look at all the that. The boat did end up dead center on the V-block on the trailer, but as you can see, the keel kind of skidded across the 2x4 and then dropped into the V-block. Once I had the boat on the trailer, it was really clear that these were too narrow and I could have easily handled two by sixes. So I went ahead and cut some two by sixes, trying to copy all these angles. Let's look at that. These two by sixes wouldn't really fit in my compound miter saw. So I just grabbed a sharp hand saw and kind of worked it down at the 60 degree angle. It's kind of what I started with. Trimmed it a little bit more, dinked with it, and then I took a belt sander and kind of cleaned everything up and rounded off the corners. Three or four trips out to the trailer to get it the way I wanted it, but I think I'm satisfied now. So we can see from the top, the angle's about 47 degrees on this compound uh, cut. Right now, I've got them right here. These are two by sixes. This thing is just primed. There's the taper on the end. This thing is just primed. I'm gonna go ahead and paint them and put them on the boat. And I will get back to you once they're installed. I haven't decided whether to paint them black or gray or yellow. Whatever I have in the cabinet, probably. I don't know. That looks a little tight. I went over and measured the keel. And its widest part, it's four inches. It might fit, but I think I'll just take a saw and sweeten those angles up a little bit. Well, it's not perfect. But I think it's pretty good. And I think it will avoid the notion of the boat getting stuck at the ramp. Wouldn't that be awful? Uh, so in the end, I didn't need all those fancy tools in the shop. I just needed a handsaw and a wood rasp. So if you look at it from a distance, it looks like it's done. Uh, the notch seems to fit pretty well. I think it'll fit. I wouldn't bet a house payment, but I'd bet a case of beer. I'll need to clean up those uh, ends with some paint. I went with black because I just happened to have a lot of shaker cans around. So I think we're good. Well, I won't know for sure if it works for about five months when I put the boat back on the trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and put the video up anyway so you have some ideas. If it doesn't work out, I'll take down the video and maybe make a new one. And if it does work, I'll just put a little note down in the description. In any case, thanks for watching and hope to see you out on the water.